but I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. The elephant in the room. Even with AI making its way onto the scene. Wait, I think I hear something. Did someone just say the introvert friendly visibility dream? Hello, sweet, sweet, amazing human being and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mia Brox and this channel is all about life and business the introvert friendly way. Because yes, I am a huge introvert and you might be as well. In that case, you have come to the perfect place. You are safe here, my friend. This channel is all about how to live the most cozy, dreamy life and how to start your very own content creator business so that you can basically just escape the corporate life, escape your nine to five, escape your boss and fully enter the cozy pajama lifestyle, AKA freedom. And today we're talking about one of my favorite topics, blogging. And blogging is actually something that I've talked quite a bit about on this channel before. I mean, I've kind of been obsessed with blogging and the possibilities that come with it because blogging, as dramatic as this sounds, has truly changed my life for the better. I mean, had I not started my very secret blog back in 2018, oh my God, that's a long time ago. Is that five? But coming on five years, I wouldn't have the life or business that I have today. I wouldn't be making 10K months. I wouldn't have been able to quit my nine to five. I wouldn't have been able to work in my PJs all day or from that cozy cafe, which I just adore. They have the best coffee ever, but let's get back to the topic. And I wouldn't have been able to make sales while I was watching Friends, like the show on HBO, that rhymed. But in all seriousness, wait, <laughs> this is all very true and very serious business. There was actually a day when I made $5,000 while I was watching one episode of Friends. I think it was the one where Ross and Mike hang out. They drink beers. It's very awkward. It's hilarious. It's one of my favorite episodes ever. Have you watched it? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> And if you haven't watched Friends, what are you doing here? But basically, none of the cool things that I just mentioned would be possible if I hadn't started my blog. This is why I've created countless videos on this channel about blogging. It's why I've been obsessed with teaching you how to start your very own dream blog, why I created my blogging course, Dreamer to Blogger, why I have my free blogging course. I've been obsessed. This is actually how and why I pivoted my content strategy from, you know, writing about all things personal development to blogging to now online business and content creation. The possibilities when it comes to blogging are truly endless. The possibility of freedom, the possibility of no longer having a boss, the possibility of sky's the limit income, the possibility of, well, living the cozy pajama lifestyle, the super introvert friendly lifestyle. If you are new to my channel, my story, and we haven't known each other for a very long time, <laughs> I'm gonna do that thing now where I link to another video on my channel. I think you'll see it here or here. I don't know. It'll be somewhere on the screen. And in that video, I share my very honest business blogging journey. If you want, you know, the beginning, the end, the middle, all the things, but basically to sum it all up for you, because we're going to get into the juiciness of this video. I basically started a blog in secret in hiding anonymously because I was so scared of what other people thought of me. There was no name on this blog. There was no face, nothing but blog posts, valuable blog posts through my secret blog, which by the way, I finally over time had the guts to share my story and who I was, you know this because you're watching this video and my face is here and my name and everything. Hello world. But through starting my secret blog, I was able to build an audience to make an income and what was truly going to become the springboard for my dreams. We're living the cozy pajama lifestyle. We're just being free. Because of all this, I can think of no better way to ease your way into the online business space, into the content creator space, than to start writing, to start blogging, start your dream blog. If showing your face and your name or starting a YouTube channel, starting a podcast is feeling a little ooh, ee, ah, uh, right now, <laughs> what I'm saying is you don't have to start there. Start where you feel comfortable and your online confidence is going to grow over time. And most likely you will like myself, become more and more comfortable in your new online skin. Okay. So now let's talk about it. The elephant, 
the elephant. Yes, the elephant. We're going to go with that analogy. The elephant in the room. The title of this video, should you start a blog in 2023 and beyond? Is blogging dead? Do people still read blogs? Is it too late to start a blog? Am I too late to the blogging game? Are blogs still a thing? These questions get asked on repeat every single year. But I'm going to let you in on a little secret and you probably know what I'm going to say. <laughs> blogging ain't dead. Nope. It's just changed. So the funeral for blogging isn't scheduled for any time soon. There will be no funeral for blogging. Okay. <laughs> now I'm going to get into some of the reasons why blogging is still very much alive, still thriving, still doing its thing on the internet. The first thing that I want to talk about is the fact that blogging, the game of blogging has just changed because you know, gone are the days of writing up your latest diary entry or writing about what you had for dinner last night. I mean, that's not interesting. Blogging is an amazing way to build an audience, to build a community. It's an amazing way to go deeper with your audience, to provide awesome sauce value, you know, by sharing your wise words, sharing photos, videos, screenshots, what have you. Blogging is a medium where you can basically gather all the good stuff, you know, embed different formats and provide value in different ways. I feel like I'm like hunched over like this, but I want to be close to you. That's why. okay. Okay, Mia, get yourself together. You haven't filmed a video in a year ish. Blogging is still such a powerful marketing tool for your business where you can, as I said, build authority in your niche at your very own introvert friendly pace without having to show up on social media every single day. And the way people are consuming blogs, the way they're reading blogs has also changed. Skimmable content is the new black. People skim. People are busy. People don't have time because people's attention spans are well, pretty much non-existent at this point in time. So what you want to do when you start a blog, because I hope you're starting a blog after this video, create a skimmable, you know, too lazy, didn't read experience for your audience by breaking up the text, adding white space, images, graphics, bullet points, embedding a video and different sections with different headings. This is also going to help you with SEO, which is my next point. SEO search engine optimization is still the best way for introverts. I mean, not just for introverts, but for all business owners and content creators to build an audience online. As long as you are writing blog posts that solve a problem that help a specific group of people and not about what you had for dinner last night. I mean, some people might find that interesting. No, no, they won't unless you're like, Kim Kardashian or something. Blogging can be a super duper way to build authority and to get your content and brand in front of new people all through the magic of SEO. What does this mean? It just means that people are searching for the content that you are creating and finding you through search engines, Google, Pinterest, even YouTube. Wait, I think I hear something. Did someone just say the introvert friendly visibility dream? I'm being so silly. I'm also being very, very serious. It's the best. And 77% of all people who use the internet today are still reading blogs. So rest assured, blogs are not heading for the graveyard anytime soon. And I believe they never will. Basically, as long as people are Googling stuff, blogging and blogs are going to thrive. So when it comes to utilizing SEO and optimizing your blog post, you want to create content for the searcher, for your audience. What are they searching for on Google? Because this is how they're going to find you. So you want to create content that they are already searching for. That's going to be your content strategy right there. And the thing is the lifespan of a blog post. Well, it's like an eternity. You want to create blog posts that are evergreen, meaning people are always searching for it. For example, how to be productive versus what should I buy my husband this year for Christmas in 2023? That's not evergreen. That's very season based, even, you know, time based. You want to create evergreen content that people, your people are always searching for. This is how your content is going to last 
for a very, very long time. Longer than Reels, longer than TikToks, longer than anything else. I'm actually ranking on Google for the keyword, how to start a journal, on the first page of Google, in fact. This blog post, even though it's not really related to what I write about today, it still brings thousands of people to my website, to my world every single month. And this is a blog post that I wrote in 2019, and it still brings me so much traffic. So my last point when it comes to this whole is blogging dead thing is that you want to make sure when you start a blog, when you start a self hosted blog, for example, with Bluehost, you own your content. You own that property on the internet. Nobody's going to take that away from you. Not even Mr. Zuckerby. It's yours to keep and it's not going to vanish overnight. You don't actually own the content that you create for Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. If Instagram goes away tomorrow, your account, your content is going to go with it, but not if you start a self hosted blog. Think about it. Your blog is like, your home on the internet, the home and the heart of your business. Don't you want to own that property? You don't want to be at the mercy of these unpredictable social media platforms. I mean, they're great to show up on every now and then, but you don't want to be at the mercy of them, of the algorithm. So I thought now would be the perfect time to take you through an updated process of how you can start a self hosted blog with Bluehost. Now, the reason that I recommend Bluehost is because it's what I use for my website today. And it's what I started out with. By the way, this video is not sponsored by Bluehost, although I have to say that I am an affiliate. So if you choose to sign up through the link in my description, that is an affiliate link, but you know, it's a free country. You can use the link you can use just bluehost.com. And again, I only recommend recommend services and things that I use myself and genuinely enjoy because if I didn't, that wouldn't be very ethical and that's just not the vibe. So boring disclaimer out of the way, let's dive into the tutorial. Alrighty. So the first thing that you want to do is go to bluehost.com or if you want to use my affiliate link, you're totally free to do so. It is shedreamsallday.com forward slash bluehost and then click on get started now. I also have a sweet little discount code if you want to use my link. Now you want to select your plan. I recommend that you just go with basic. You just need one site. You don't need plus, you don't need choice plus or pro. If you down the road feel like you need to upgrade, you can always do that. So we are going to go with the basic and you get a free domain, you get a free SSL certificate. So just type in the domain that you want for your blog, or if you have an existing one, you can type that in here but I am just going to create my domain later. We're not going to go over this step, but it's pretty simple. You just claim it. All right. So you want to create your account, just fill out your information. She dreams all day is my business name. This is just optional. You don't need to have a business set up to get started with Bluehost and then your address, your city, your state, you know, or your country where you're based and your email address. So I'm just going to fill this out quickly. There we go. So the package information, we're going to go with the basic plan. The term is going to be 12 month, or you could go for the 36 month plan, but we're just going to stick with the 12 month LLC is free. So this is actually what makes your website secure. So let me just show you what this looks like. If my website wasn't secured, it wouldn't have this locked icon right here. It says that connection is secure. It's a secure website. If your website does not have an SSL certificate, it's going to say that it's not secure and we don't want that. We don't want our visitors thinking this is a spammy site. So that's great that they have added that in for free. Now the extras, you do not need the site backup. You can get a separate plugin with WordPress for that. So what I recommend is the Updraft Plus plugin to back up your site and that's free. So site look security, I suggest that you get, this is just to protect your site from malicious attacks and that kind of stuff. And we want to do everything we can to protect our, our businesses. Check that. And then you just fill out your card information. Needed to get my card. I'm going to fill out my information. I am of course going to blur this out because I would be a very silly person if I didn't. Alrighty, let's see. Gosh, 
Does anyone have this memorized? I do not have this memorized. All right, and then you want to just make sure that you read their terms and then please click here if you don't want to receive emails about products. I don't want that, so we're gonna go with that and submit. Payment processing, very exciting. Yay, success. You wanna click on create your account and then they're gonna ask you about your domain and you wanna create a password. And then you wanna make sure that you read their terms and their privacy policy again, create account. And now they're gonna take you through a series of prompts in order to set up your blog with Bluehost and WordPress. Start your website. Do you need help with building your site? We're just gonna go with no help needed right now. So it's a blog, it's a education blog. This doesn't really matter. Uh, who are you creating this for yourself? Continue, what do you wanna name your site? Again, you can change this later on. Dreamy blog for YouTube tutorial. Continue, and then they're gonna ask you to pick a free or a premium theme that inspires you. We're gonna go with a free theme, but in my Start Your Dream blog challenge and in my course, Dream It A Blogger, I actually teach you how to set up the Divi theme from Elegant Themes. It's a paid theme that I recommend. For this purpose of this tutorial, where you're gonna go with a free theme, again, you can change this later on inside your WordPress dashboard. So we are gonna go with this one. All right, so this is your Bluehost dashboard. You're not going to spend a lot of time, I'm just gonna be honest, in this particular dashboard. Only when you need to update your billing or you need to, I don't know, buy another domain, a subdomain, or need help with your hosting, that's when you log into Bluehost. But other than that, you wanna just log into WordPress because that's where you're going to upload your theme, edit your pages, write your blog posts, et cetera, et cetera. So what you wanna do now is click on log in to WordPress. So as you can see, this is your crazy domain right now. It's because you haven't set up your domain yet, but also it's gonna look a little funky in the next couple of hours because you need to verify your domain with Bluehost. And it does take, I don't, I don't know, I think it takes up to 48 hours in order for your domain and your website to get online. That's why it says it's not secure, even though you got the SSL certificate. So it looks a little funky, but don't worry. But welcome to your WordPress dashboard. This is where you're gonna write your blog posts, do all the things. And now you've connected your Bluehost and your WordPress are officially married and you're basically ready to start blogging. So this is how you get started with Bluehost, a self-hosted website with WordPress. Off you go, start your dream blog. Remember, if you want more support and help, you can check out my free blogging course where I go into more detail of this tutorial and how to launch your blog, blog and grow your blog. So make sure you check that out in the description below. But there you go. So no, my lovely friend, blogging is not dead. I repeat, blogging is not dead. No funeral is scheduled for very long time. Even with AI making its way onto the scene, people are still searching on Google for solutions to their problems. And the best source of information is going to be created by a real human being, by a person with experience, with feelings. They're not looking for this information from a robot. They're looking to connect with another human being on the internet. That's why people follow. That's why people subscribe and read blogs. It's because you are helping them. It's because they feel that connection to you. So don't worry about the robots taking over. Like seriously, don't, don't even think about it. Now, I literally love you for making your way all the way to the end of this video. And if you did, let's have fun. Let's, let's, let's have you post the coffee emoji in the comments below. If you made it this far in the video, you are part of the inside circle, the VIP. Love you. Let me know if you have any more questions about blogging, about starting your blog with Bluehost. I'm all ears. Let me know in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you're feeling like, oh my God, blogging, I need to start my blog, pronto. Don't worry, I have a free blogging course that you can sign up for in the description below. It's going to take you through, again, the process of starting your blog with Bluehost, but also how to actually set up your blog, how to make money with your blog, how to build an audience. It's called Start Your Dream Blog. I know, very clever. It's linked in the description below and it's totally free. So join. Toodles and cozy business vibes sent your way. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.